I'm going to tie a lightning bug, and I'm starting off with a size 14 scud hook in the vise, and I've got a 332nd tungsten bead, and that's in silver. The thread that I'm going to use is an 8 aught, and it's in a fire orange. And the reason I chose that is because I like to have a hot spot on this pattern, and this fire orange thread does a, a good job of creating that. The way I'll tie this in will be similar to like a Mickey Finn or a Black Nose Dace when I have a uh, tinsel body um, and I want to have a real small profile to it. So I'm going to tie all the materials in at the front and wrap them down and once back um, and then that's it to hold everything in. And uh, I'll start with my tail and for that I'll use a pheasant tail. I'll take maybe six to eight fibers and I'll pull them off at a 90 degree angle from the stem and then I'll also remove the material at the very base of it. Then I can set this on top, measure it out the back, and tie it in. And when I tie this in, I want it to be slightly on the side, maybe not directly on top. And that'll be true with all my material. As I start to wrap this down, everything's going to shift slightly, so I want to compensate for that on the front end. The rib that I'll use is a brassy size, and this is a silver wire, and as I get smaller uh, in sizes, I'll decrease that as well. I'll seat this in the bead, take some wraps, and also remove pheasant tail at this point, and then the body is going to be a tinsel, and I'm going to use a silver tinsel. This is actually two-sided, so on one side it's gold, the other side is silver, and this is another uh, piece of material that will rotate on me, so I'll tie it um, gold side up, and then when I start to wrap it, it'll be, it'll be silver side up, so again, tie that slightly to the side, and I'll wrap everything in. And now when I take this down, again, pinch everything together, side-by-side -side wraps for the most part, and continue to wrap it down as far as I want the material to go. Once I've gotten down pretty far, I can let go of the tail and kind of monitor it by just holding the tinsel and the rib. And then when I work my way back up, I want to come back up side by side again and fill in any spots that might have been too low. Now I can wrap my tinsel and for this I want overlapping wraps And when I get to my thread, I'll tie it off. And then I can remove. And now I'll work my wire back up. And when I do, I want it to help splay the tail a little bit, so I'll make sure to catch that. And then nice even wraps all the way up. And again, when I get to my thread, I'll tie it off, and I can break the excess. Now this will have a flash to it, so I'll use a pearl tinsel for my flash. I'll tie that on top, and then bring my thread back as large as I want my thorax to be. For the thorax, I'm going to use a peacock ice stub, although you can use a peacock curl for this, and really any different colored dubbing you'd like. And I'll dub a thorax on here. And I'm going to try to keep this relatively tight. This ice stub can be wiry, so I want to try to keep this dub as 
tight as possible for the thorax. And make sure I leave a little bit of room uh, behind the bead so I can tie in my legs. And I'll go back to my pheasant tail for the legs. For this size, four to six fibers a side maybe. And I'm not worried about length when I tie them on. Take maybe two wraps and then I'll pull back until I get the length that I'm looking for. And I try to go about uh, the length of the thorax, maybe a little bit longer. I'll repeat the process on the other side. Again, not worried about length. Take a wrap or two and pull. Until they match up, take one underneath, maybe two, and then I can remove them. And if I need to do any adjustments to the to the legs further, I'll do that, and then I can pull up my tinsel. I always tie my flashback and my back on last so that if I have wraps that I need to hide or material that I need to hide from tying in the legs I can I still have some wraps left to do it. So I'll take some turns and then remove it and now just a whip finish. And remove. A drop of head cement here on the threads. And that is a lightning bug.